Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you the basics of modeling in Blackbench. You can download Blackbench for free. Link is in the description if you haven't downloaded it already. Let's get started, shall we? First off, what kind of model are you planning to make? Are you just modeling for fun and don't plan on making it into Minecraft or making a mod out of it? Generic model might be for you. There's no restriction and you can freely model without Minecraft's engine restriction. You can read about the restrictions in the menu before you start. You can learn all about it by clicking on the menu and it will tell you restrictions it might have. For example, Java blocks can only rotate on a 22.5 degree angle while Bedrock can only have one texture. If you're planning on putting it into Minecraft, Java or Bedrock might be for you. You have a block and item is if you want to make a placeful item into the game. Bedrock entity and modern entity is for entities. Bedrock is for Bedrock and modern entity is for Java. Java block slash item is what I'm going to be using for today's tutorial. I recommend knowing what type of format you want to use before since your model can get messed up when converting between different formats. I'm going to be doing Java format today. You can click create new model and we'll be taken to the screen. Um, for today's demo, I'm going to make something a little bit sus. So, uh, and um, these are for the texture. We will have to worry about that until we actually do the, do the texture. But for me, I recommend or I prefer per face and it just makes things a lot easier. But wait, uh, before you start, I recommend that you organize your folders like this to keep everything organized and easy to find. Uh, make a main folder with four folders inside like this. Once you make a lot of models, it's so much easier to keep things organized. This is optional, but it makes life a lot easier later. The first thing we need to learn is the controls. Left mouse click is to rotate the plane. Middle mouse is to zoom. And right click is to pan the camera. Left mouse is us too, you can move, move the cube with these. Next thing we're going to learn is the tools. The first tool is the move tool. This tool basically moves you left to right, up and down, wherever your cube wants to be. Next we have the resize tool. This will make your cube as big as you want and as small as you want. You can see I am just pulling the axis, the axes out and it's moving as big as you want or tall. But since this is Java, it will have uh, a black limit. Then we have the rotate tool. This tool will rotate your block at a 22.5 degree angle. So it is a little bit limited in the Java version. To center your pivot, because when you put the pivot, it always will start on this corner. To center it, click on your block and click center pivot. If you don't have it up here, it should be right here. This will center your pivot so when you turn, it's turning based on the block and not in the corner. The next tool is the vertex snap. This tool helps you align blocks nicely, precisely. Let's say you have two blocks, but you want to align this block exactly the same where the corner is. Let's do this one. What you do is, up here, click vertex snap on the block that you want to move to the block. Click on a corner, then click on the other block's corner and it will just go. It'll be super precise. Instead of manually moving it and not knowing if it's precise or like off a little bit, it will be precise. So again, click the block, vertex snap, click on a corner that you want to match it to, click on the next block, and click again. Here, we'll do this one corner, and we want to line to this corner. So be like that. Another thing to mention is that when you move, you move one pixel at a time. But if you want to move more exact pixels, you press shift. Shift will move it half a pixel. Then control will move it even like more precise. And if you press 
control shift or shift control it will move it even more this goes for resizing too holding shift will make the black half a pixel more while control will move it even tinier let's get started uh, you start by the added cube Move it to the center. We're making it among us, so... We're gonna make it a little bit chunky. A little bit skinnier and a little bit shorter. We can move up. Move it up. And we have the body. Actually, I'm gonna make it a little bit... A little bit in here okay, and now we can add the legs we can duplicate this put it down resize it so it's there's no <laughs> Z fighting so all the way down and then we move it to right there and we rotate you see that his legs are a little bit thick so, make it smaller using it. There you go, one leg done. And then you can right click, duplicate, and move it to the other side. So, we already have the body and the two legs. Now, we're going to make the little backpack. Duplicate again, pull it out, resize it so it's a bit smaller. Resize up and then in, move again and move down. So he has a little backpack now. And you can make this smaller or bigger as much as you want. Mm, I like it a little bigger. I like him. So that's just the basic body of Among Us. And we can do his little visor, a little glass thing. So we can duplicate, move, resize, resize in, make both sides go in, top, down, and there you go. Our little Among Us. He's in the cute. Uh, I want to add a little bit of character to him, so I'm gonna add an egg. You can add a new cube, drag it up, put it down. We're gonna make a yolk first, so hmm. I want this yolk to be a little bit smaller. Or a little bit thinner, so I am going to press shift and then move down. I'm gonna move all the way, all the way here. I guess I can move this down a little bit. Yeah, move the yoke to the corner. And what we can do is add planes to make it a little bit of a 3D effect. So what we're going to do is we can duplicate this to make it easier instead of adding a cube. Make it really thin and move it. And use shift control or control shift, whatever you like more, and precisely move it. And we can move, make it smaller. Once we paint this in, you'll see the, the results. Same for this side. Duplicate, move out, resize all the way so it's super thin, and then resize the front so it's a bit smaller. A bit smaller. Move back, and then 
what we're going to do is vertex snap. We're going to select one, press the vertex snap, press one corner, click the other one we join to join it to, click them together. And we're going to resize this one. We're gonna press control and we're gonna select both both of them. This one and this one, and we're gonna move it out a little bit. Out. I can actually move this out a little bit more. And this one. This bit down more. Make more 3D, I think I'm going to do this. Move this up, duplicate this, make it super thin. And then, what I'm going to do is vertex snap this one to this one. This corner to this corner. Then carefully select all three of them. This one, this one, this one. And move it up just a little bit. Move it up slightly so it's not touching the bottom cube. And this if you want to change the color of the cubes. To for more clarity, you press this one, you go to market color, and you can change the color. We're going to change it to all white, so it looks like the yolk. Not the yolk, uh... I don't know what to call it, the gooey thing, the, the slimy white goo gooey thing. And then we can bring our yolk down. Change this to yellow. Now we, once we texture, we can, we'll can we put a lot more detail into the egg. But for now, look at that. So, you're among us. Your little with a little egg is done for now. And the next video will be texturing. If you would like to see part two where I teach you how to texture, consider subbing and leaving a like.